See, a paramedic on the side of the road would suck an act to save a life. We gotta get him in. Load him in. A Marine would. Suck an act to save a Marine. Not an Air Force person. But. I don't even understand in this war, why do we even have Air Force people? They don't have an Air Force. So what are our Air Force people doing? They don't have a Navy. And we can't beat them. They don't have Marines. You ever notice that we can't ever beat anybody who doesn't have equipment? If you don't have equipment and don't have any schools, we can't fucking beat you. If you got equipment, we'll take your ass out in a week and a half. Bam! No equipment, we're fucked. I'm just about tired of trying to entertain this place. Everything he says, we just go see here staring at him. Because any comedian who traveled the world knows that Southerners only laugh at shit they agree with. <laughs> Midwesterners will laugh at any damn thing if it's fucking funny. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Well, you just ruined my damn theory. <laughs> You're the one supposed to want Obama to be president. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm from Illinois. Oh, your great great granddaddy's going to be proud of you, sir. <laughs> you already switched to the other fucking team. <laughs> Illinois. That's about a red light district of a fucking state. I'll say that. I've been to Sojay, Illinois. A lot. Well, I'll just do another one. Here's a song that's got a million and a half hits on YouTube. I got all cocky and arrogant about it. Then I found out a woman walking her ass across a laundromat parking lot got 10 million hits. Self-deprecating you. You better enjoy it because it won't be a lot of it. Let's have a round of applause for Drew Thomas back in the back one more time. Give it up for him back there. The greatest father in the United States of America, right there. There he is. That was about hard on Obama, but round of applause for Jimmy Buffett, man. One more time. Heading out to Sandy Springs, Georgia For the late night Saturday show I got my Jimmy Ass puppet shirt on Large cleavage woman in the front And honey, I gotta go Round of applause for the poor black people Had to put up with my ass all right there they just came to the show thinking it was going to be Teddy Wilson. Remember Teddy Wilson? Does anybody here remember Teddy Wilson? Yeah. Do you remember Teddy Wilson? You're going to feel bad when I tell you this, man. Did you ever watch Good Times? You remember Sweet Daddy? The guy with the green hat played the... Did you ever watch That's My Mama? Are you really a black person <laughs> with a straight face? You're gonna sit here and tell me that in the 1970s you didn't watch That's My Mama with Clifton Davis? She wasn't How old are you, Mom? Forty. Fuck, I'm fifty. I remember that show. <laughs> and the heavy guy that was on Love Boat. What's, what's his name? Love Boat. Isaac. And on That's My Mama, he'd come in and go. Ma'am, I'm about to take your black person card away. <laughs> Don't know Charlie Pride, don't know Teddy fucking Wilson. Damn. I had a bunch of white people in here first show didn't remember Elvis fucking Presley. Oh, oh yeah, you think you know Elvis Presley, ma'am? So far you can't pronounce hummus word. <laughs> Nobody introduced a band by the name Elvis Presley. Well, I can take this time to introduce the band. <laughs> Where the guitar is John Wilkerson, the lead guitar is James Burton, the bass is Jerry Schiff, the piano is Glenn Harden, our drummer is Ronnie Tuck, the lady does a high part, Smith 
Kevin Westmore. <laughs> J.D. Summer and the Stamps Quartet. And our conductor is Joe Grisho. And the man that brings me my scars and water. Who brought Elvis Presley his scars and water, man? <laughs> Hair and makeup. Not hair and makeup. It was a background singer. Booty. The man that brings me my scars and water. <laughs> Mr. Charlie Hyde. <laughs> I used to be 11 years old, I'd land on the throw route going, Fuck! I wish I was Charlie Hawk. Just to hang around with Elvis, women screaming, panties flying, Fuck! I wish I was Charlie Hawk. And I'd turn that off and turn on Teddy Wilson on, That's my mama. I'm disappointed in this crowd. This may have been the worst Saturday I've ever done at the country. Not y'all, the first crowd was really bad. Y'all were actually a pretty good crowd. But I'm just not really that impressed. I mean, this has pretty much turned into a seminar. <laughs> More than a comedy show. See, I used to do the easier jokes. You know, like Danny Cook. You go to the Burger King? You go to Burger King? No, we never been to fucking Burger King. I'm here to try to, just to try to get past all that. And, you know, I, I don't really want to do a hundred things in the coloring book to sell that Cracker Barrel. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not here for y'all. I'm here for therapy. This is just therapy for me. Now, I'll play you that song and get all in. But before we go any further, my brother got his leg cut off about two years ago from diabetes. He lost his big toe on the diving board and it got kind of civil war. With appendages, they'll move over and you didn't lose your neck. And he always tells girls, oh, I got it bit off by a shark. I go, a shark my ass. A shark won't eat 32 catfish in one sitting. <laughs> so he's, he's, five, he's, he's six two and five eight. <laughs> but he loves stuff called Chicken Comer Barbecue Sauce. Down in Phoenix City, Alabama, they have a place called Chicken Comer down there. It's a real famous barbecue place. And my brother loved that damn sauce. He'd sit up nights trying to damn do it and could never keep it from separating and shit. Went over to the restaurant, told the guy he loved it so much. The guy made him the national sales director of Chicken Comer Budget Barbecue. Well, I went down and saw him last week. My truck broke down. I had to bring his car back up here. And the trunk's full of Chicken Comer Barbecue sauce. So I'll be selling that shit after the show. Over the if you never had it, it's really good. It's completely different than anything you ever had. Anybody know Phoenix City, Alabama? Used to be the most dangerous town in the United States. It's the only town in the history of America that had martial law declared in it, 1956. You don't know a lot of shit, sir. You're going to learn some shit at my show, sir. You Illinois fuckers are the reason the Mormons are out in Utah. They wanted to be in Illinois and y'all ran their ass off. I had two Louisiana fuckers in here last night. I threw both of them out of the place. Why? Because they were the ones that killed Bonnie and Clyde. And didn't have the balls to walk up and shoot them. No, shot them in the woods while they were trying to fix the tire. Bunch of assholes. Louisiana, we ought to sell that state tonight. We bought it in 1803, Louisiana Purchase. Paid three cents an acre for it. I bet you if we sold it tonight, we could triple our money. Mississippi. Don't ever feel sorry for Mississippi people. I hope the next three hurricanes that hit them are called Goodman, Schwerner, and fucking Cheney. <laughs> See, I'm from Georgia. We hate Florida people. Well, I guess we grew up our whole lives wanting to go to Florida. Oh my God, we're going to get to go to Florida. Put a float on top of the car. Drive six hours. Get there. Do you have a hotel room? Get yeah, there $100. Unless you want to be near the water. Then they're 400 fucking dollars. No, we don't want to be near the water. We want to sit in a hot-ass asphalt parking lot with a float on top of the car and finish up these pecan logs we got in Valdosta. <laughs> then a hurricane comes and rush back to Georgia. Oh, my God, you have a hotel room. Yeah, they're $100 unless you want to be away from the water. <laughs> and then suddenly we're gougers.
Is anybody here from Florida? Where are you from now? 